Hi everyone, I'm Thomas. In the cloud computing era, virtualization improves server usage in data centers, reduces power consumption, lowers operation and maintenance costs, and increases service deployment flexibility. These benefits allow virtualization to boast a wide range of applications. As more tenants are developed for data centers, the number of virtual machines significantly increases in turn. VLAN is the mainstream isolation technology used on legacy layer 2 networks. However, the VLAN tag field has only 12 bits and can identify a maximum of just 4096 VLANs. This quantity is unable to support the required millions of virtual machines. To flexibly schedule the computing resources of data centers, virtual machines must be able to migrate across devices, areas, or even data centers. And to ensure service continuity, virtual machines must be able to retain their IP and MAC addresses after migration. These requirements cannot be met on legacy layer 2 networks that use VLAN for isolation. VXLAN was developed to help data centers rise to meet these challenges. VXLAN is short for Virtual Extensible Local Area Network. It constructs a virtual layer 2 network over the layer 3 network infrastructure. VXLAN uses VXLAN network IDs to identify users which are similar to VLAN IDs. A VXLAN network ID is 24 bits. This allows for 16 million isolated virtual layer 2 networks to be classified, which is a sufficient quantity to guarantee security isolation on large layer 2 networks. VXLAN uses MAC and UDP encapsulation. VXLAN encapsulates the original Ethernet packets sent from a virtual machine into UDP packets and then adds outer IP and Ethernet headers of the physical network to the UDP packets. The encapsulated packets can be forwarded as IP packets over a routing network. Virtual machines on Layer 2 networks are then able to use routes beyond the limitations of Layer 2 and Layer 3 networks, and they can migrate across devices, areas, or even data centers. Because VXLAN is an overlay technology, there is no need to adjust the underlay network configurations while a virtual machine is migrated. Lastly, let's go over the benefits the VXLAN solution brings to data center networks. First, VXLAN can classify a maximum of 16 million virtual networks. This allows a data center to accommodate multiple tenants, greatly improving the operating revenue. Second, VXLAN decouples virtual and physical networks. Tenants can plan their own virtual networks without the need to consider broadcast domains and IP addresses on physical networks. This simplifies network management. Third, after VXLAN is deployed, only VXLAN network edge devices need to identify the MAC addresses of virtual machines. This reduces the number of MAC addresses that need to be learned and enhances the forwarding performance of the entire network. These benefits make VXLAN an ideal network virtualization solution for large layer 2 networks. Thank you for joining me.